I'm Miera Overdyke. I'm a piano teacher and also a nanny. I live in New York and I'm the winner of the Everybody Model Contest. So I was always a bigger kid. Everybody always thought I was a lot older than I was because I was really tall and a lot larger. When I was 14, I got up to 200 pounds and I was actually considered obese. And I had a really, really hard time socially. I just started starving myself and I only let myself eat a salad a day and I lost 70 pounds. And I got really, really, really skinny and it was a constant battle and I wasn't any happier than when I was at 200 pounds. And finally now, years later, I've embraced things like cooking healthy and working out and eating well. And I'm around 180 pounds, but I feel the best that I've ever felt. What inspires me are women that are putting themselves out there that are not fitting like the classic beauty type that are having success in media and in film and in music and they're not letting their body type determine what they can accomplish and I think that's incredibly inspiring for someone that was held back by that for so many years like my in my mind my life wouldn't start until I was skinny and I watch these girls that are doing and women that are doing these amazing things that I never thought that I could do if I wasn't some sort of a model-esque person, but I see them doing it and that just reminds me that I can do it too. To me, health and vitality is related to physical strength in a way. Not to say that like you have to be some sort of giant power lifter, but for me, like when I was really, really way too thin, I felt very weak and emotionally weak and physically weak. And as I've let myself nourish my body more, I feel much, much stronger emotionally and physically and I don't think that that's a coincidence. And for me, um, what I think is healthy personally is like a lower carbohydrate diet. I focus on eating a lot of protein and vegetables and a lot of healthy fat. Some amounts of butter that would make some people a little bit like ugh, cautious, but it works for me and I think that's what it means for me. The message that I would want people to hear from me is that the first thing that you need to do is you need to go within yourself and you need to find out what makes you happy, what makes you feel good, and you need to chase that no matter what it looks like. If it means that you're doing yoga for 10 minutes and then you're stopping to take a break to eat chocolate because that's what makes you happy, just do it. Stop doing things that other people tell you you have to do. Stop suffering through workouts. Stop suffering through diets. Just find something that you know is actually good for your body. I'm not talking about going on a pizza binge every night. I'm talking about things that actually feel good in your body and pursuing those things. That's my, my biggest lesson that I've learned so far.